Listen, you live through Watergate as a person, as a professional, and as an American. What do you see now in the reporting you've watched this week? Well, something I noticed a few years back, and that was that reporters who were too young to cover another great story of the 20th century, the civil rights story, they wanted part of that glory. So everything they covered became Selma, and every bad cop became Bull Connor with his German shepherds and water hoses. Now I'm noticing that a lot of reporters who were too young to cover Watergate, they want part of that glory too, and finally they found it. Donald Trump firing James Comey is their Watergate, except, except it isn't. Watergate was a conspiracy of historical proportions. Lots and lots of people very close to the president committed major crimes. This is a major story. This is a legitimate story. But it is not Watergate. It doesn't need the hype. One more thing, Bill. One more thing, and I want to do this for uh -huh. me. This is important to me. Nothing I just said is a defense of the Trump White House. This is the gang that couldn't shoot straight. They would find a way to screw up a one-car funeral procession. They changed the story on why Comey got fired every 10 minutes, and I put that on the President of the United States. Despite that, despite that, they don't look good at the White House, but the press doesn't look good either, turning this into a, a Tuesday night massacre, okay. which All it right. was not. So, so that timeline, we'll follow it, and we'll see whether or not in the end that matters or not, uh, because facts matter, as you know. I want to share two right. pieces of opinion with you. Michael Goodwin, New York Post. Here it is. Nixonian was a common theme, a shot, a shot both cheap and predictable. When you're a hammer, everything's a nail. When you're a Democrat, everything is Watergate. Also the other day, the Wall Street Journal, I'm going to share this with you too and get your professional opinion as a reporter. If Mr. Trump is trying to cover up anything, firing the FBI director is a lousy way to do it. Such a public spectacle will make details more likely to leak if agents feel their evidence is being sat on. Think about that point, yeah. Bernie. I mean, if there is evidence, they're going to get it out to reporters. And you, you, exactly. need, to fo you need to follow the leaks in this case. And if they lead exactly. somewhere, it, then it, maybe there's something there. But if they die, like some have already this week, there is nothing. Go. Exa exactly. This is the worst possible way to shut down an investigation. And by the way, Everybody, starting with the Democrats, know that this will not shut down the investigation. The investigation won't miss a beat. And if, if this was an attempt to shut down the investigation, the agents at the FBI will be on the phone in the blink of an eye with the New York Times and the Washington Post leaking whatever facts there are. So this isn't Watergate, and this is a terrible attempt if that's what it was to shut down the investigation. Yeah, follow the leaks. I've been trying to say that all week long now. And if they go somewhere, you track it down. But if you hit a dead end, you don't have much there. Final comment, Bernie, because right. Jeff Sessions, I believe, is beginning. Go. Final comment. There are plenty of reporters out there who detest Donald Trump and would like nothing better than to see him brought down. What troubles many of us is why this White House, why this president, gives them so much ammunition.